this is a strange beer review because it's the first time I'm doing a beer review with a bit of emotion really because I heard the beer bruvs are going under they're knocking it on the head um, they were a website where you to put your order in for imported ales and the thing that I will remember about them is I've had about eight or nine orders off them over the last 18 months or so and it's American import beer I've only ever gone for the no I haven't only ever gone for I think I've had like one or two cans off them that were full price the rest were sale items and they've all been from breweries like Bronx Brewery Dubco Brewery in New York I've had a brewery out in New Orleans which I can't remember which one that was um, tried Boston um, somewhere else as well but anyway because they're going under I managed to pick up a tin of this for three quid reduced down from 850 eight pound fifty that is in fact I bought six of them because it's a Dubco and I've had Dubco before brewed in New York and this one is their New England Pale Ale it's 7.3 percent so it's a bad boy and it's uh, called Into the Pine Barrens New England style India Pale Ale with Amarillo, Simcoe and Palisade Hops there is the label that look, if this comes out looking anything other than perfect I'll be stunned problem is 7.3% it's certainly not first of the day and the problem with these things is, as we know, they can be absolutely banging and three of them put you out for the count. You know, the American beers like this, they should be more like a wine. It should be to say, be savoured, but the Brits, us lot, we're into drinking quickly. I certainly have been previously in the past. It's only the last year or two. I mean, this is my third drink of the night. It's coming off at 10 o'clock. I'm not going to have another one after this. Previous Friday evenings. Hmm. The third one would have been around about 5 o'clock in the evening. So, this is lively. For a 7.3% beer, it is holding on to a head. Oh my. I've just had a can of hop, skip and juice, which is by vocation. And it's a hazy pale ale. It has, I mean, it's a really, really good beer has all the scent absolutely every single thing that I can smell in this you can smell in that as well that tropical fruit but this is this is going to be on a completely different level I knew I was in for something special when I ordered it and this is why I will miss beer bruvs because I've bought the this style style of beer from many a supermarket, from bottle shops. I've got them on online as well. It is my favourite style of beer. My favourite style of beer done by the best website out there. To be honest, I'm, I'm feeling guilty because they're going. I should have used them more often because it's a service. That I for one will miss and if ever it comes back I won't be taking it for granted again I could, there were times when I could have ordered more from them I fancied it but then I was looking at something else and thinking oh, I'll go for that and scrimping a pound here or there what beer bruvs prov provided me with though particularly their sale deals which was you know the beer coming towards the end of this uh, it was going towards being out of date but there beer that was going towards being out of date was so much better than <laughs> the other stuff because the quality the effort that's been put into making this beer 
is far, far ahead of anything you get over here. And that's not to say there aren't people doing great, great things. But if this is anything to go by, and I haven't even tasted it yet, I've only smelt it, but I'm telling you now, this is going to be sensational. My friend Tony is coming down here on Wednesday. We're going to see a gig together. I can't wait to give him a half a point for that. My word. What can I tell you? It's the perfect New England IPA. It's lovely up front. It's got a beautiful citrusy back end. It's that tropical fruit, but there's... I've heard people describing kind of like the taste of New England IPAs, that the, the, the pineapple taste is like pineapple chunks. No, this isn't like pineapple chunks. This tastes of pineapple, proper pineapple. This tastes of, oh my God, and it's still going on now. That bitter back end, citrus back end, which is like, it's lime peel. Right at the back end is lime peel, but it's not like, it's just the aftertaste of lime peel, which is quite pleasant, you know, up front if you're chewing it, yeah. If you don't have to. That is... Yeah. Best beer I've ever had. I wanted it to be. I thought it might be. I was hoping. I knew it would be, like, if it's £8.50 from Beer Bruvs at any stage, it's going to be a really decent beer. But three quid a tin... Bargain of the century. Bargain of the century. Thank you, Beer Bruvs. Please come back. Don't. Let's make it a Riva Dirty.